Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Vanilla Let's Play Series 1.16.2 And yes, we are still here in the village, but we are leaving right away. I think I have my inventory uh, figured out. Um, I think I've taken the stuff that is most important. I haven't left anything. Well, I have left this stuff, but we will be able to come back for it another time. I have plenty of sugarcane back home, so I'm not gonna take the paper. I took the spruce saplings and yeah, you can see my inventory right here. So I think we should be good to go home if I can remember where it is. It is in this direction somewhere. But before we continue, a word from our sponsor, Humble Servers. Humble Servers are your one-stop shop server hosting with extreme low prices. You can get unlimited slots, storage and super good performance for a much lower price than other hosters. You can get a 4GB RAM server for only 8 US dollars in the Supreme lineup using the Ryzen 9 3900 CPU. So go and get your server now and use promo code BINARYV at checkout to save 25% off of your first purchase and by using the link down below in the description, you support me and the channel. All right, well, we are gonna head back now and uh, then we'll see what to do when I get back home because I have a few projects in mind. So uh, let's get home first, which to be completely honest with you, I'm not quite sure which direction it is. This is why a jungle outpost tower would be extremely helpful. Because I'm in the jungle, obviously. So I'm somewhat close to home. But I have no idea where my actual home is right now. Because... Wait. Wait. What's that? I see it. Yep, that's my pillar. Okay, I think I'm just over this hill. Yep, that's light. Okay, cool. Okay, phew. <laughs> but as I was saying, if I had a outpost tower thing high in the jungle trees, it would be a lot easier for me to actually be able to find back home uh, instead of walking around aimlessly in the jungle hoping to find it eventually. Hey, bird. Home sweet home. All right, so we are back home. Finally, I am cooking up some food right now. I put some stuff into a chest and yes, there is not at all any system in it whatsoever. We'll do that another time. Oh yeah, I need to fix this. I, I, it's been so long that I don't even remember what the comments said. I'm pretty sure people liked the fences more than the trapdoors. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. And honestly, I like the, tr the fences as well, a lot more. Um, but before we do anything, I just wanna check out over here our farm that we made. The sugarcane has obviously grown, but I don't think that's any new. Has this grown? No. Wait a minute. How, okay, so something stumbled on this. And then a skeleton died, huh? All right, so this is not grown. We are not, I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. Uh, we are not able to harvest our potatoes quite yet, unfortunately. We'll, uh, we'll get to it eventually though, don't worry. Um, I have a few projects in mind, two of which I've highlighted, two of which I've highlighted. We need an enchanting table, so we can soon enchant our gear. Um, but also I want to go to the nether because, well, 1.16.2. Um, but both of those require a little bit of some work. And I'm thinking, I don't know if I'm quite ready to go to the nether without any enchantments yet. But 
we could set up the nether portal and I think I have a pretty good idea of how I want to do that. It's something I want to build but not something that is extremely big and unmanageable. Um, I'm just thinking where to do it because I remembered a bigger hill here but obviously there's not and I'm not about to start terraforming. I could put my idea here but I feel like that would be way too close to the base. I think that would be come quite noisy eventually. Now that I think about it though, it would look pretty cool having here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, for one, I know what we need for it and that requires me leaving home again, yay. <laughs> I need to go to the abandoned uh, ruined nether portal back where we came from actually. This time I'm screenshotting these coordinates so I don't go randomly walking off into the wo into the woods again. Um, but yeah, I need netherrack and I need, actually I need obsidian. I need obsidian. Do I even, did I even make a diamond pickaxe yet? No, I have not. Well, I think it's about time that we make our first diamond pickaxe because we might not go to the nether today, but I want to make the portal and in order to make the portal I'm gonna need some uh, I'm gonna need obsidian. Also, I do have flint and steel running somewhere. There we go. All right That is what we'll need for this specific mission. I would also like to get some cactus growing. Do I have sand? I think I'm gonna put some sand down somewhere Just a little bit of a patch and Then just letting some cactus grow just so we can get a little bit of cactus growing. All right, this should do nicely. It does not have to be near the water at all. It is just me because I want it there. Just put it in with uh, some space in between. Yep, that'll work. Wait, I have one more, just maybe. Yep, that'll work. All right, off to the ruined portal. It is, a, it is approximately like 400 blocks in this direction-ish. So I just gotta keep going this way. All right, here it is. Uh, not enough obsidian to make a full portal, but I'm sure we'll be able to manage. So I want basically every single block that is on here. My idea is to honestly to kind of replicate this like ruined portal um, thing here back home, but with a full portal and with this support thing fully made. So I want all of this stuff. Uh, even the lava. I don't need all the lava, obviously. I'm gonna take a bucket of it and then I'm gonna call it good. Ow. Uh, so let me just put down this water down here and then do a boop and then do that just so I don't fall in it. And now I can take these. So I want all the netherite, not netherite, <laughs> netherrack basically. Um, yeah, I want everything. All right, back from harvesting the portal, we have, there's even more netherrack back there, but I only took three stacks because eh, we probably don't need that much of it. Um, so that's why I, I stopped there. I could have taken all of it. We have 36 magma blocks. We have three triangle obsidian and eight normal obsidian. So it should be very easy to just get two more obsidian somewhere else. Also have a lava bucket and we have a bunch of uh, mossy stone and normal stone. Uh, we will need more, so I am going to go ahead and smelt that right there. Uh, in the meantime, I do want to lay out the portal here. So the portal is going to be a two, a four by the, however tall it has to be. So that means we would need support out here. So we actually have just enough space 
we can actually incorporate it into this wall right here actually because it's stone hmm I think we're gonna move it actually over here in that case like so so this will like be the portal frame and then we will have some stone stuff over here yeah I think this will be good I just need to start putting some of this taking some of this down so I want the portal I think I actually want it right here like kind of inside of everything and then put some nether stuff around it maybe some lava flowing down and some netherrack down here as well or I could put it one further in. No, I think I am going to put it here. So let's remove that and that. And just lay it out with the obsidian. So we would have obsidian here. Obsidian here. And we would then have obsidian up here. Like so pretty much. Then some support up here. And then we would put some netherrack around it. I have no idea how this is going to work. I usually don't do well when I do building like this. Just uh, out of nowhere. <laughs> kind of so this should be uh, very interesting and also challenging for me so I think instead of using the iron bars that are in the original design I actually want to use chains I think that would look pretty cool and I think I might make a few just to have them uh, because we might be able to do some pretty cool stuff with that also our stone is getting there slowly so we can move that into stone bricks all right, you cannot make a portal out of crying obsidian, I know that, but I am going to use it just here in the corners for decoration purposes and to use to kind of put the chains on to make it look like maybe that we have cracked the obsidian in order to put the chains, chains in or something. That is kind of the idea, if that makes sense. Now over here is going to be the interesting part. We would have this going across, at least like that, a stair. And we would have this going across as well. How does that look so far? All right, that's that's something. Uh, definitely something. Wait, to get getting there slowly. Now I want a actual support like pillar right here, uh, right here in this area. I don't know exactly how to make it look good. But I guess I can start with just making a pillar of stone bricks. I'm gonna have something to start off the design with. Uh, a let's let's go with a mossy stair, cause why not? And a mossy brick right there. And I'll do all the very detailed, well, detailed decorations afterwards. I say that and keep going. <laughs> I think something like that might look cool. And then maybe adding some more dirt here, which I originally did remove, but I want it now because I want netherrack here. I want it to look nethery. Uh, hmm. And then my thought was also we could put more chains because they can actually now be sideways like that. So have some sideways chains going into the wall here, maybe. Removing that and putting some, eh, some stone bricks in like that, like so, like kind of holding the portal up. I think this could look pretty cool. I think the best way for me to actually be able to measure this is to start putting a uh, nether rack around this thing. So adding it as the floor, adding it in the, like the hill here adding it def different places so it looks kind of like the original design so and not too man-made it i want it to look kind of yeah kind of natural as well but i don't want any of these natural blocks here showing i want it all to be netherite in i keep saying netherite <laughs> netherrack i want it all to be netherrack eventually like that should be the goal Ooh. I'm starting to like this quite a bit here. All right, I think this is definitely starting to look like something really, really cool. Uh, I don't know about this though. I feel like it is very bare. Maybe it just needs some depth in here. Okay, you know what? That actually helped a lot. Yep, adding that depth really helped. I don't know about this dirt up here. I feel like it is very, um, yeah, it, 
yeah, I don't know if I like that part. Uh, nor do I know if I like this specific bit. Okay, that's better. I think what I might do eventually is put a uh, stone brick all around the netherite, kind of like to mimic that I'm try that it's trying to be concealed. But I like it. Now all I would need to do is place in uh, magma blocks here and there and put some lava in somewhere. Where am I going to put the lava? That's a question. Ow. Where am I going to put the lava? And then I also have to balance not to put too much magma down because otherwise it becomes too much. And I also don't want to get my armor destroyed every single time I want to go to the nether. So I don't want it to be in the way either. <laughs> this is complicated work. Uh, I think I like this though. I need one more. One here. Boom. That that should be good. And I'll move this one over. Yeah, I think I think I like that. I think I like that. Now I need to decide where I want to put the lava, and I'm thinking maybe making it go out from up there. And then run down and then just run into here somewhere. That will give light and it will also uh Yeah, it will go down here and just 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 because I it, it's gonna feel better. Uh there we go. Yeah, it's gonna give light, but it's also going to look a lot better. Actually, we might just be able to put it right there. Whoops. Like so. How's that gonna look? Stand back. Yeah, and then maybe we get some more lava and put like here running down or something. I actually am really happy with this. Again, I'm not sure with the transition here with the blocks. I feel like more of this needs to be nether netherrack. I almost said netherite again. I kind of feel that way, but I'm not sure about it yet. I'm not sure about it. Definitely leave your feedback down below in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for this bit, let me know as well. Because I feel like it's way too, like, bare and can't leave the transition like that, you know? I feel like the entire thing... Oh dear, don't... <laughs> if I died to my own lava, that would be... Hmm. But yeah, I think I like it as it is right now. And if we go up to our balcony, I will admit it looks pretty cool. Now just imagine it activated, which is something we need to do next. I'm gonna put all of this away for now. Boom. There we go. Okay, I need uh, two more obsidian and I don't know where to get it from. I believe there should be obsidian down in the ravine where I go mining. I'm gonna go take a look. Uh, I should probably grab water bucket just in case there is lava, but no obsidian. That way I'll be able to at least make some. No obsidian here, but I do know for a fact that there is obsidian somewhere down here in my, uh, yeah, as you can see in my caves here. So I just need to get around it somehow. Here it is. I just need two pieces. There we go. And of course that's going to flood everything. That's all right. I don't know, is there gonna be... Yeah, there's lava down here as well. Of course there is, why wouldn't there be? Alright, I should be able to get these two obsidian now. Nope, I lost it. <laughs> I lost it, no. Alright, come on. Yes, I got it. Also, there's a siren in the background, I am sorry. Get... Nope, I didn't get it. I did not get it, I repeat. Mission failed. Got it, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Mission successful. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, good. Mission complete. Heading back to base. All right, we got the obsidian. Let's put it down and let's activate the portal. I'm not gonna go through today because uh, armor and yeah, that state is not the best. But here we are. Let's activate it. Hold on. Oh, that's another egg. I, I thought I heard a skeleton. Okay. Ooh. 
I want to see how it looks from the balcony. I also want to see how it looks. Yeah, I also want to see how it looks at nighttime. It looks cool just from here, actually. Yep, that looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. What I could do maybe is put some stone brick stairs around it. I feel like that might look good, actually. Both as a sort of containment, quote unquote, for the um, for the netherrack to spread, to make it look that way, but also just for making it easier for myself to get up here. So like do that and then put normal stone brick here, I guess, or something. I don't know. Let's see how that looks though. That just made it look even better, I think. Okay, I think I need more stone brick to put around this entire thing. All right, I'm not quite done over there, but I think this actually, the stairs here made it look even better. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Um, but I personally think that actually made it look better. So that is really cool. The annoying thing about having a parrot, wanna know what? It imitates mob sounds. AKA skeletons, spiders, creepers, zombies. It's annoying. But it's cute. Look at this little guy. He's so cute. This I'm not sure about though. I'm not sure about this bit at all. On the wall here. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to leave it as this for now. Also, I don't know if it should be like this or if this should be stone brick here as well. But anyways, I think I am going to call that here. Uh, I can always improve on it later on, especially after hearing you guys' feedback, because I'm not that great of a builder. <laughs> so, yeah. But I think this looks pretty cool, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this build. So, yeah. I just need to figure out what to do with up, the, with, uh, up there. Now, potatoes? I'm so very tempted to farm these, but not all of them are ready yet. So we'll wait, we'll wait, and then we'll do it next episode where it's going to be satisfying. All right, so that is that project done and this episode done as well. Now, what are we going to do in the next episode? I'm not quite sure. I have quite a few projects planned. I don't think we will go to the nether quite yet. We need to look into some enchanting. Uh, so that might be the route we need to go, which also will include some building, but we'll see. Um, I also have some automated farms I want to set up, so again, we will see how that goes. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.